Open up a present, honey. I'm sorry. It just doesn't feel right with Greg still in the hospital. <laughs> Greg would want you to enjoy your birthday here. Now, we're not going to just let this day go by. Because you are a gift, Destiny Evans, and I am personally very grateful you were born. <laughs> here comes the sun. <laughs> oh. Hey, happy birthday. Matthew, thank you so much for coming. Um, have you heard anything about Danny? I figured with your dad in charge of everything... Yeah, that... he's been living at the station. My mom, too. Mom, Dad, thank you so much for all of this. But with Greg still in the hospital and Danny, Star, and Hope still missing, I can't celebrate. I just can't. Honey, we all missed Greg. And your friends. But we'll have another party when everything gets back to normal. But today is your birthday, and you have so much to celebrate. I mean, you're smart, you're funny, you're talented, and you're beautiful. Hey, Matt. And you got a family and friends who love you and are very, very, very proud of you. Come on. Where's the birthday girl? How's Greg? He's holding his own. Oh, I'll, I'll go over and believe him, but she, is he all no, right? No, it's okay, Mama. Vivian's with him. Destiny, blow out those candles. I'm making two wishes. One for Greg, and one for Star, Danny, and Hope. Oh. <laughs> Eli called Todd. He's asking for 50 million. Dollars? I couldn't even get a bank to give me 10,000, let alone 50 million. I, I doubt he went to a bank. He wouldn't have had to go anywhere if you hadn't tried to rescue Danny. What, it's his fault she got kidnapped. Just give it a rest, okay? Eli Clark is Danielle's uncle, isn't he? Yeah, but I don't think that means anything. He killed her father. What? He shot Ross Raper. How would you know? I was there. I saw the body. Why would Eli kill his own brother? No, none of this makes sense. I know what you're thinking. That Greg was involved somehow. But I don't believe it. I'm sure your friends would like to see you open your gifts. My friends understand how I feel. Always and forever. And if Greg did help Eli Clark, it was because he had no choice. Eli forced him. What do you say? How would Eli force your brother to help him? Look, uh, I say we leave this kind of talk for some other time. This is a party. Yes. Um, more cake, anyone? Yeah. I'm your only sister, you <laughs> fool. You want to give it back? You try and take it from me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who's next? This is so cute. It's got all our songs. Now that you can call them up. Just kind of random, you know? Cool. I would have gotten you the pulse, but my allowance doesn't exactly cover that. It's a great gift, Darren. Destiny loves music. She takes it from moi. <laughs> you take it from moi. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. <clears throat> Open up mine. Fancy. Don't look at me. The store did it. Oh, my gosh. Matthew, a pulse? Uh, Matthew, uh, that's very generous, but Destiny can't accept such an expensive gift. Don't worry about it. I just got a big bonus from my uncle. You heard I'm working for him at B, right? So don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. It's, it's cool. You can take my bag. 
No way. I'll use yours when I go running, and I'll use Matthew's to get my emails. You better send me some. Don't I always. I don't know where that child gets his values. His uncle's got more dollars than cents. I'm gonna take off. Oh, so soon? I don't like leaving Greg alone. Well, I'm sure Viv would have called. I'm sure he's fine. I'm gonna run to the police station and see if there's any word on Danny. But uh, this is for you. That's so sweet of you, Nate. Oh my gosh, how did you know? I love these. I was shopping with Danny when I saw them. She showed them to me. She was gonna get them for you for your birthday. So I thought, well, they could be from both of us. I miss her so much. Me too. Hey, she's coming home, all right? She has to. Honey, we have uh, one more gift for you. <clears throat> Mommy, you've already given me so much. I know. All those new clothes. But this one is from Greg. I found it among Greg's things. He did. It was addressed to you. He just never got a chance to send it. What do you say? Dearest Destiny, he never talks like that. You have no idea how much you mean to me. I know I haven't always been there for you the way I should have been. But you've never been out of my thoughts. Mom. Not for one second. I'm fine. I just... <laughs> just hearing his words, I'm just worried about him. I gotta get going. You'll call me if you find out anything at the police station? Right away. I hope Greg gets better real soon. Well, thank you, son. And for coming to celebrate with Destiny. <laughs> it was so thoughtful of you. Yeah. He's a thoughtful guy. I love these. <laughs> Don't worry. She's gonna come home. Hey. She has to. She lifts to God's ears. Hey, Prince. Excuse me? Prince Charming. Uh, it's nice of you to crash the party with the perfect present. What is your problem? You. You are my problem. It's not enough to steal Danny. Now you're going to make a move on my best friend. I'm not going to let that happen. You don't know when to let up, do you? How about oh, you? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell, guys? Yeah, he started it, man. Well, and I'm going to end it later. Man, you got to get a grip. Greg loves this, uh, this kind of cake with the buttercream icing. Remember? I do. When he wakes up, I'm gonna make him a whole one, all for himself. <laughs> Maybe just give him a bowl of icing and a spoon. Well, if that's what he wants, that's what he gets. His card. <clears throat> Every time I see it, it makes me wanna cry. I know what you mean, baby.